Hi, this is West, and welcome to the Team Viewer iPhone app review. I'm excited to tell you today about Team Viewer. What this app allows me to do is it allows me to securely, remotely log in to any computer uh, on the planet that has uh, an internet connection. So, if just to give you an idea of the magnitude uh, of this app, uh, I'm going to talk you through some of its options its features and I'm going to teach you some of the ways that I use this app in order to really take full advantage of it because it is certainly isn't the cheapest app out there but it's a very very effective one and can return you many times over if done correctly so this is the screen that comes up with when you first uh, open the app and it'll ask you for a team viewer ID and a password now this is referring to uh, your partner's ID and password to initiate a session. Now TeamViewer on a PC or a Mac is free for a person to download. So once they have that software on their computer, you can then through this app type in their ID and password and be able to access their computer from your iPhone or iPad or whatever it is you have this uh, app on, which is very, very cool. Um, the other tab down here, Recents, allows you to see any pre all the previous people and con computers you've connected to. Um, if I jump to this side here, Options, it's got a series of uh, different options here, um, teaching you how to use the app. Um, and a, a little, a few more advanced um, security type options um, down the bottom here. If I tap on partner list, what this has done is allowed me to connect, permanently connect up one of the computers um, at one of uh, my properties. And uh, I have that on and I refer to it from time to time when I need to, to do certain things that when I'm on the go. So if I go ahead and tap on that, it's called West Server. I'll go ahead and tap on that, it tells me it's online, and I'll go ahead and connect to that uh, computer. So what TeamViewer is doing now is connecting to the computer, it's authenticating, it's gone through, and after giving me the instructions, uh, I tap on continue, and here this app allows me to really um, effectively um, focus in on this app and I'm able to scroll by opening my fingers uh, my two fingers uh, and increasing their width and that'll increase the size of the screen um, and just by moving my finger over the, the screen um, the screen automatically moves if I tap on the screen the cursor will start blinking and it'll allow me to interact as if I was actually there now this is a Microsoft Word document that I, I just uh, open, had open on the computer. Um, and the beautiful thing about this app is it allows me to get full control of this machine as if I was actually there and using it. So if I tap on the keyboard tab down here, the keyboard will come up. It's got all the options of a keyboard, control, alt, escape, um, backspace, and obviously um, the keyboard here. So if I just type something in up here, how cool is this app? Um, it just types it in there for me pretty much in real time. I think I've written something else there, but that's okay. You understand what I mean. Now, by getting out, uh, th this obviously gives you a, a few different other options, including all the F keys to print, scroll lock, etc., etc., and you get even more um, by continuing to tap this uh, keyboard button with the plus. So you get full full um, keyboard control by exiting. Um, we just eject that particular um, interface. The mouse button here is uh, a right click. So um, it just the same as a right clicking the mouse on your computer. Get out of that. And there's a few other options under the, under the settings, screen resolution, quality of the screen, uh, which affects your speed, etc., etc. Um, tap on that one. It allows us to remotely reboot. And this one um, obviously makes the screen smaller. So 
that's it in a nutshell. Um, it, it's the tour of it and its interface. I'm going to um, going to go ahead and, and close this connection and um, tell you a little bit about how I use it, uh, it to get the most out of it. So the first way I use it is when I'm on holidays um, and I need to check in with a, a, a one of my computers for a specific task. Um, it might be to get a certain document or, or that computer might have a program that I, I want to use in some way, shape or form. Um, or if I want to log into the, the, the home uh, computer or the office computer, uh, I, can, I can automatically do that with TeamViewer on my iPhone. They do need to be on though, and they do need to have an internet connection. So you won't be able to access them if they're not on and that they don't have an internet connection. Some people don't like to do that, um, and but then you know in those instances you won't be able to use that. Uh, remember, it's free to download TeamViewer for your computers. You just have to um, pay for the one, the app on the iPhone. Now uh, I also like to use it for remotely logging in to help business partners, uh, colleagues and mates that um, I have a vested interest in them getting a program to work or finding something. Um, obviously with family members or friends if they're trying to find something or they're trying to find a program or they're trying to do a process that they don't know how to do and they're asking you, it's much, much easier to uh, just log in their computer and, and do it real quickly than it is to try to explain it to them. Um, and I've, I've used this uh, recently in the past with helping someone um, recover a lost document um, and reformat a lost document. And it was uh, just very, very painless uh, me doing it than having to try to explain to a non-techie person. Um, another way I like to use it is to view someone else's screen during a presentation. If they're talking to me on the phone, or um, they're giving a presentation uh, via Skype, like an audio, and uh, they'd like to see uh, the, they'd like the, the viewers to see the screen. Um, then you know it's an easy way to be able to do that. There are other ways to do it as well, but this is just one use of TeamViewer. Um, I also like to use it to check on tasks that I've left my PC or my Mac uh, doing while I'm away. So for example, uh, rendering uh, videos or uploading videos on, to YouTube, um, I, I like to leave them, uh, let them uh, do what they, the, the, the software takes uh, quite a while to render the, the videos. Um, and every now and then I'll check in with TeamViewer to actually um, upload the next video or if I have to do some edits or I have to type in some uh, you know, keywords and upload it to a certain site. Um, that can be all be easily done through TeamView, and I can, you know, the other day I was shopping. Um, I had a few series of videos I had to upload. I was at the shopping center, and um, I was checking, uh, paying the the the, uh, the checkout person, and logging into my phone and uploading the next video at the same time. So by the time I got home, it was already done. I didn't have to wait. So it saves me a hell of a lot of time um, doing cool things uh, without having to wait um, when I can do them remotely. And one final cool way that I like to use TeamViewer is with virtual staff. Now, obviously, if they're technical, they won't need your technical experience, but as an accountability tool, so I get their TeamViewer ID and password and I put it in there as a, as a permanent partner. And during the hours that they're working for me, um, I let them know that, I'm at, that I could log in at any time to check on what they're doing. Um, so they're always on their toes, they don't waste time, they're always focused uh, and super, super productive. Um, and that's you know a really uh, cool way that I've found to use this. And I can check on them anytime from, from my computer, obviously from my computer if I'm at home, or if I'm out, I can check on them you know using my iPhone. Now obviously I'm not gonna start taking over their mouse and start doing stuff on their computer, but as an accountability tool, just to log in and check uh, what's on their screen, um, is, is a really good way for, uh, to use this app. And uh, obviously there are other ways to do that as well, but um, this is, this is a, a one use of TeamViewer that I've found be extremely effective. So I hope you've got some things out of uh, uh, the, uh, those tips there. Um, it would be absolutely unbelievable on the iPad with a much bigger screen. On the iPhone, it's still, uh, it's still pretty awesome, but on the iPad, it would be excellent. I mean, the only downside to this computer is its, it's price. It's very highly priced, uh, but you know if you know what using it for, and if you know that you'll get a return, 
then you know it's an absolute no-brainer and I've tried log me in as well as an app um, and this absolutely smashes log me in in terms of speed graphics uh, wins hands down so, so you don't even want to waste your time with that one um, you want to head to team viewer overall I give it a 93 percent uh, still amazed when I do this uh, at how they've managed to create an app that allows you to securely do this how fast it is how how much thought they put into the interface and how easy they've made it to control the computer to do whatever you want um, and I, I just wouldn't use any other app for this type of um, activity so I hope you enjoyed the app review um, get it use it enjoy it use it to leverage your time and I'll see you in the next video